Hello, my name is Dr. Renee Bonziani, and I'm a lecturer with the Department of Anthropology at the University of Kentucky, and I've been asked to give you a couple of uh, teaching tips for uh, large introductory undergraduate level classes. Um, I'll teach those classes, and they'll have anywhere from 90 to 300 students, and the class is mainly comprised of freshmen and sophomores who are um, actually non-anthropology majors or who have not yet uh, declared their majors. So I wanted to give you an example from ANT 101, What Makes Us Human, an Introduction to Anthropology. Uh, the class covers four subfields, physical anthropology, archaeology, linguistics, and cultural anthropology. So it fits pretty well into uh, devising a evaluation and a grading scheme that I wanted to tell you about. Uh, there are three tips I'd like to talk about um, right now. The first one that deals with evaluations and grading is a good idea is to spread out the assignments throughout the semester. Um, since the course covers four subfields for this introductory level material, uh, it was a good way to easily divide that up into four sections. So two of the subfields are covered before the midterm exam. Um, and then, of course, include the associated evaluations. Uh, those are up to 10% and 15% of the total grade. And then we give a traditional midterm exam that's worth about 25% of the grade. So by the midterm, the students will have already completed 45% or almost you know, half of the, half of the uh, evaluations. And then the next two subfields are done after the midterm exam and those uh, comprise 10% and 20% of the final grade. We give a traditional final exam worth 25% at the, you know, during finals week, and then 5% uh, for attendance. So um, what this seems to do is that uh, this setup uh, helps students have time to reflect on the assignments, and then they can you know, schedule that in their busy schedules so that everything's not due at the end of the semester. So we, we found that was a, a good tip. Uh, the second tip is conferring with other faculty members is to offer a variety of different uh, types of assignments. Um, these, uh, uh, these different types uh, usually help the student to not worry about just taking one final exam at the end, and sometimes they're not very good at taking exams. So uh, this allows them to be exposed to different kinds of technologies and uh, different uh, writing assignments or internet assignments. And this way they can you know, get a good grade on everything and not just worry about a uh, typical exam. Uh, for this class, assignments can include uh, an information literacy component, and then the, uh, they utilize library resources, and sometimes we'll have them look at scientific journal articles for the physical anthropology assignment. Uh, other of the assignments include interactive internet sites, and we use that to introduce them to the importance of um, archaeology and linguistics, and then that includes some writing components. And then for the final uh, culture anthropology assignment, it's a little more creative and we work sort of on, we don't use Ancestry.com, but they will do their own family kinship chart. So they like that part and uh, then they also address uh, questions related to the student learning outcomes. And then finally, we do give a, a more traditional uh, multiple choice midterm and final exam. So, um, and then that that's the, ends up with the total amount of points for the class. And then the third tip, which um, seems to be very helpful, is to also supply the students with examples and then um, grading rubrics that they can utilize to see how to do the different assignments. And that idea uh, came up, um, came about thanks to uh, input and help from the Presentation U Faculty Fellows cohort that they have here at the University of Kentucky as well. And they uh, sort of said a good, good teaching tip is 
is, uh, you know, let the students know how they'll be graded on things. So, you know, that makes uh, sense. So on all these assignments, they will have a, a, an example of how to do the assignment or sort of a tutorial that walks them through how to do the assignment. And then they all have grading rubrics. So they can, you know, follow right along the grading rubrics and see how they'll be scored, um, you know, on the different parts. Uh, for instance, in the archaeology part, there are three parts to the assignment, and uh, each part has its own grading rubrics, so they can look at that. In some instances, they can enter their answers right into the grading rubrics and easily see what uh, each how much each component is worth. And then, um, then there's also a little bit of a longer writing assignment, which also they can see if they do well, they get you know this amount of points. If they sort of miss something, they'll see you know what will get uh, deducted. And then we also found in these large classes, you'll have a, a number of teaching assistants. So the grading rubrics help the uh, professor and the teaching assistants uh, sort of all grade the same way, or in essence grade the same way. Um, so we use this, try to use the same basic standards for everyone when they're grading so that it's you know, fair for all the students. And again, this really helps maintain a consistent uh, grading. So those were three possible tips you can use when you're developing your uh, large classes at the introductory undergraduate college level. And thank you for your time.